I grew up in Atlanta. Uh, my dad was a pastor, pastored the same church for 37 years. And um, I wasn't born in Atlanta, but moved there when I was one. So that's my home. That's where I grew up. And uh, into my teenage years and into my college years in Atlanta, um, that's when she started attending the church that my dad pastored. But you're not from Atlanta, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Ohio, I was born in Dayton. And when, we, um, when I was five, our family relocated to um, Maryland. And so we lived there till I was 13 and then we moved to Atlanta. So we moved around a lot. And um, Atlanta is home to me. Well, when we first got married, we were both, um, we both had really good jobs. Um, we both have accounting degrees. So we um, bought a house, actually. We didn't even move into an apartment. We moved into a home four months after we were married. He started feeling like God was calling him into um, yeah. Well, I, full-time yeah, ministry. Yeah, really prior to that, I was really wrestling, struggling with the call to full-time ministry, even though I was in business. I knew that God was calling me into full-time ministry. Now, the interesting thing is, when Udella was attending Lee, she vowed she would never marry. Oh, no. She would never marry a preacher. No. Now I grew up. No. I'm a fourth generation Church of God minister. I've got ministers everywhere in my family. Anywhere you look. So we finished out that year of '84 uh, in business, and then I went and started uh, at Mount Perry in 1985 as a staff pastor. Yes, we have two two kids. Um, Justin, he's a Lee alum and he has a PhD in Old Testament from Emory, and he is on faculty at, at Lee. Yeah, he has two grandchildren. He, two uh, he has two He's kids. He's married two to his um, high school sweetheart, Amanda, who is a, a wonderful um, mother and wife. And then our daughter, Ashton, she, she's a Lee alum, and um, she teaches first grade in Birmingham and Homewood City Schools, and um, she and her husband, Caleb, Caleb He's a good man. Um, he works at Church of the Highlands. And then they have this little wild redheaded little grandchild um, named he Levi. Is all out and there. he's two years old. And you know when Levi's around. You know. You he's do. full of personality. He's extremely happy or extremely mad. Yeah, they're our joy. Our, our family yes, and is our joy. Yeah, yeah, and probably the thing we love to do the most is, is hang out with our family, be, be with them. If, everybody, if anybody said, What's your hobby? Family. That's kind of it. We Family. anytime we can be together. One day, Dr. Khan approached me. Uh, he he contacted me when I was on the board, pastoring him out there in North, and said, "Hey, I'm coming through Atlanta. I'd love to have the opportunity to talk with you." I said, "So he's going to ask me for money?" And she said, "I think he's going to offer you a job." And so Dr. Khan and I met, and he did both. <laughs> he asked for money first and got my commitment there, <laughs> and then talked to me about coming to what I came to be as the vice president of ministerial development and the chair of the Christian Ministries Department. And so, yeah, we came and then, of course, served as vice president and then the chair of Christian Ministries. And then when Dr. Khan made the announcement that he was going to be stepping aside to be chancellor, we weren't real sure about that. We prayed, we prayed about this and said, if, if the board approaches us about considering being interviewed, we would see that as an open door. And, you know, they did, they said, hey, would you be interested in putting your name in the hat to be interviewed? And here we are. We've, you know, we've had a lot of people <laughs> say, we're so sorry, you know, you know, this is a terrible time to be. And I can understand it. We appreciate uh, that sensitivity towards this. This is not the first setback in Lee history. It's not the first pandemic in Lee history. In 1918, when we opened, we were in a pandemic. And uh, I, I think, you know, for us, it's a matter of, hey, this is where we are. This is what we got to get through. The mission of preparing students for responsible Christian living <laughs> is still what we do. We would not want to be doing anything else anywhere else with anybody else. And I think we, we, we truly mean that. Has it been challenging and tough? Yes. Absolutely. What an amazing place Lee University is. What, a, what amazing leadership Dr. Khan has provided over the past 34 years and the type of team he had in place. Hey, sky's the limit as far as I'm concerned. Um, our future's bright at Lee University.